Hi guys, it's Hanny from Eclipse All Sports. I just wanted to bring you another cricket bat review. Today we're going to be looking at the Bass Bow 2020. So this is the Hashim Amla cricket bat. This one that he's using in uh, test matches and ODIs. So we're going to take a closer look at, at three new bats that we've just received. Uh, this one is a very nice one. It's all sapwood, no heartwood, and you've got eight perfectly straight even grains. So you're looking at a mid-middle position, nice high peak on the spine, rounded off into the toe and the spine up into the handle. A medium to thin handle at the bottom, round towards the top. And again, you've got the rubber inserts in the handle. You've got this nice double textured, double colored grip that goes really well with this sticker color as well. These stickers are all textured and embossed. And if you look up towards the spine, you can see there's little to no wood taken out. You've got the Thatcher Fit toe guard. And you can just have a look at the grains through the back. And if you have a look at the bow, you've got gentle bow down towards the toe. Face is slightly rounded and the edges are slightly rounded as well. And you've got a slightly rounded toe. Uh, so you're looking at a 38mm edge and a 63mm spine. So pretty good specs on this one for 29.2 ounce. Uh, we have listed the weights in grams and in pounds on the website. So if you want in the weights in grams and pounds, if you click the link in the description, it'll take you over to the website and you can have a look at those as well. Um, so we'll just go onto the balance and the pickup and then we'll see how the bat performs. Uh, so 29.2 and for me, it probably feels just a touch lighter than 29.2, maybe 28.5. I reckon around 28.5, so probably a good half an ounce lighter than the dead weight suggests. And then we'll just see how it responds. Response. So yeah, the performance on this one is a little bit special guys, we've just done the Players Edition video review and those bats performed amazingly well and I was very impressed with those, probably some of the best performing bats we've had in for quite some time and this one was right up there with those bats, maybe a little bit better so, so it just shows how special this bat is. Um, we're going to be listing it up on the website uh, as cricket bat number three. So check that out. Uh, like I say, you'll have pictures and the weights and measurements will all be listed on the website. So a cracking bat and certainly one to look at. So we'll move on to cricket bat number four. This one is probably the best looking out of the new bow 2020s that we've got. It's stunning grains, beautifully straight and even. Really nice looking bat. We'll just count them up for you. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven grains. Eleven grains, beautiful looking. Shape wise, you've got that mid middle position with the spine rounded off into toe and up into the handle. Again, I'd say the handle's more of a medium to thin, slightly flatter at the bottom, but predominantly round and round at the top. Same rubber inserts and the sticker design is all the same. And just look at the grains through the back. Nice little bow, same round face, round edges, round toe. And if you have a look up from the spine, nice high spine, very little wood taken out, fat fit toe guard. So yeah, really nice shape. Uh, so you're looking at 210.3 ounce on the scales and a 38 millimeter edge and a 63 millimeter spine. So it's a pretty big bat, a lot of wood in it, and we'll just see how it picks up and then we'll go on to the performance. So even though it's got a fairly thin handle and probably a mid, mid to low middle, it picks up well again. Again, for me, it probably feels too nigh. Maybe two nine and a half, two nine, two nine and a half. It doesn't feel much heavier than that. And we'll just see how it responds. So the performance is very good. Pings very well all over the blade. Very good rebound as you can see, pinging up at the stickers, in the middle it goes really well, and then down towards the toe, pings pretty good down low, 
So this is an old cricket ball guys. And this one performs really well. Probably not as good as cricket bat number one. That was very special. But this one looks good, picks up well and performs really well. And it's not been oiled or knocked in. None of the bats have been oiled and knocked in yet. So it's only going to get better. Um, so that is going to be listed as cricket bat number four. So moving on to cricket bat number five. So this is probably not the best looking one that we've received. You're looking at seven grains. They're not perfectly straight and they're not perfectly even. Uh, you've got a tiny little mark there. But what you're getting is a big bat in a very special shape. So you're getting a 40 millimeter edge and a 65 millimeter spine. Spine up into the handle. You're getting a medium thick semi oval handle tapering to a round. You've got the black rubber inserts. If you look down that spine, there is no wood taken out. You're getting a nice thick toe, thatch fit toe guard. And if you have a look at the bow, getting a nice gentle bow down towards the toe. Slightly rounded face, slightly rounded edges, and a slightly rounded toe. So this shape might be familiar to a lot of people. Uh, it's not the same as the dolphin shape. The dolphin shape has got a bit more of a pronounced uh, peak on the spine and then it goes down very steeply. This one is a much smoother shape with a gentle curve down towards the toe giving you that duck bill toe. So I'll show you what I mean by this shape. So this is the MRF Chase Master used by Vera Coley and this is the Vera Coley Pro shape that duck bill profile so if we put these two bats together and try and show you the shapes side by side it's not the easiest thing to do so you'll have a look there the shape is pretty much identical the only difference I can see is that the bass is much fuller in shape. So if you have a look down the spine on the chest master and this one, much fuller, thicker toe on the bass as well. This one is 29.5 ounce, it is available, we will be reviewing this shortly. Um, it's the only one we've got in stock, so if you are interested, uh, do keep your eyes peeled for that, I'll get in touch. So basically this is the Bass Vera Coley Profile Bat. Very big bat, very full shape. It's weighing two pound 11 ounce. And we'll go into the balance and the pickup and then we'll see how it responds with the old cricket ball. So for me, with the thicker handle, that duck build toe, it picks up really well. Probably feels two pound 10, maybe a little bit lighter than that. Don't feel much heavier than £2.10 though, picks up really well, and we'll just see how it pings. So obviously, it's got the advantage of being heavier, so it's got more weight and more wood in the bat as well, uh, but the ping on it is excellent. So the rebound is really good so if you're interested in a bow 2020 but you want in the coley profile uh, it is now available uh, with the coley profile and really good performance balance pickup as well as ping so these bats are going to be listed for 349.99 um, we do have some older bass bow 2020s that we received just before christmas and they're now part of the pre-season sale and they're for £299.99. So you get a nice little saving on those and there's some really nice looking ones as well. So if you want something a little bit cheaper, then you can still get the Bow 2020 at a really good price. So check those out as well. So if you've enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and a like. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please do subscribe to the channel. And we'll be bringing you plenty more video reviews over the next few days. So until next time, I'll speak to you all soon. Bye bye.